Oh my god, everyone. Welcome back to a brand new blind LP. It has been a bit and we have waited a long time for this. And now it is here. It is time for Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. And I see Phoenix in it and I'm very excited because I feel like it's been 5 million years since I've even seen him. I mean, what did we do last? We did, um, gosh, it's been like forever. I mean, the last one we did that starred Phoenix was what, guys? Three years ago? Maybe more. Because after after we finished uh, Apollo Justice and things like that, we ran over to the Edgeworth games, which I enjoyed immensely. Please look at the LPs of that if you haven't seen that. Um, but now we're back, and I really hope Phoenix is in this. He's in the title. So I'm going to assume that he is actually in this. Uh, but other than that, I know nothing about it. So you know how it goes. Don't give me any spoilers, but feel free to give tips and tricks and also to remind me about story that might tie in from the previous games because it has been a hot minute since we've seen this. And I'm probably going to forget some of the times, but I don't think I will. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But anyway, I know that this one is different. Uh, this is the first one that is on the 3DS. So the format's a little different. And also, um, I believe that I, we're going to see different graphics and, and some other things that are, are a little new to the series. So here we go, everyone. I'm excited. Oh my god, that's loud. But that's fine. You guys won't hear it loud. Just me. <gasps> Wait, this is animated? Oh my gosh, are you kidding? Yo, this is great, though. Oh my, uh oh okay, there, guys, there's a, oh my god, this is like the start of LA Law or something. <gasps> Judge, your face, run everyone. Okay, I don't want anyone to get blown up, let's go. Oh god, this, this is kind of nerve-wracking, I don't like this. Uh, uh, the, the... Oh, 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 oh my god. Holy shit, this is like animated really well. Oh my god. Uh, okay, so I guess we're not going to court uh, because the court's These been blown up. <gasps> are dark times. There's voices? Where the law has been reduced to rubble. What? And it's up to us to restore it to its former glory. What? Oh, oh, oh. <coughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Is that Phoenix? It looks like your target finally decided to make a move. Are you serious? <gasps> Don't you worry. I've got a trusty new partner on board. You do? Who? Who's that? It's not Trucy, right? No, it's not. Oh, her! I've seen lots of pictures of her, but I have no idea who she is. Oh my god, you got a Tamagotchi! You bet! Let's do this! This is so cute. She's been with us for half a year. Oh, I can hardly believe it. Aww. Anyway, her power will be our greatest weapon. Her power? What is it? Oh. oh. I can relate. Oh, no. Are you all right, miss? Uh-uh. Wow, redhead and clumsy? Sign yeah. me up. It's for this very reason I returned. It's like me. Time to bring it to an end. Whoa, 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 girl. I will bring you to an end. Wait, what? No, let's... Oh my god, this is so cool. I don't even know what to... <gasps> Jersey! Oh my... I'm so... I'm, I'm... Can you guys hear me jumping in my chair? I hope not. That's so embarrassing. This is so cool. Yo, I can't believe this. Oh my god. Wow. Phoenix is back. I don't know who that is. It's like Ganondorf or something, right? So whatever. We'll figure it out. Wait. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait. That's not Ganondorf. Wait. Why? What are you doing, boy? Oh, no. Oh. Episode 1, Turnabout Countdown. Y'all. God, let's fucking go! I am so ready for this! Oh, hello. 
<laughs> the best thing about bombs is how they erase and destroy- Wait, that guy has a police thing on. What? What the hell are you doing, boy? Oh, alright, stop. There's stuff farting in here. Okay, so yeah, I guess we're not going to court. Now all I have to do is pin everything on that little girl. Who? Which one? How many are- Okay, I don't know. We don't know enough yet. This always happens whenever I get into these things. Oh. <gasps> wow, look at the graphics, though. Even the background has changed. Well, it looks really good. It's more like- It's much more 3D. So I think this is the first game where we're not gonna have pixel art. I'm almost positive. I've never seen this game. I've- I've- I kept it on purpose, very far away from my eyeballs because I didn't want to ruin anything. But like, I'm almost positive that this one is not pixel art, if I remember correctly. Um, this is insane. I can't believe how excited I already am for this. Okay, so December 17th, 922, District Court, Defendant Lobby. So we're in the lobby, but the, the courtroom was destroyed. So what are we doing? Huh, nope. Not feeling nervous at all. I don't know who that is, but Athena seems like a lady's name, so I'm gonna give her a lady's voice. It's amazing what a girl can get used to. Even a tense atmosphere like this is no biggie. You doing okay, Athena? Who's that? What? Hello? <gasps> What's up, Apollo? Jesus Christ, is it just me or did he get way more handsome? Is it the bandages? Do bandages make people hotter? I don't know. <laughs> I'm getting a Keo vibe, and we all know how I feel about that. Look at the look at the models, though. I love them. I love how it looks. Oh my god. Oh Apollo. Yeah, doing great. Like um, I'm a little tune great. Oh this music though. I'm gonna have to turn it down for the next one because it is blaring in my ears. But I don't care. It's great. Oh yeah. That's good to hear. Although. I could have sworn I heard your voice crack for a second there. Listen, maybe I'm still going through puberty. We don't know. But clearly you're not. Holy shit. How long has it been? What's the time frame between Apollo Justice and this? Can you guys give me the dates on that? How many years? Clearly Phoenix is back in law. So it's got, it, it has to have been some years or something. At the end of Apollo Justice, he was going to go back, right? I'm almost positive that was a thing. Again, it's been years, guys. We need help catching me up to this. Oh, I'm that transparent, huh? Cracking? No, 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 no. My voice isn't cracking. Nerves are still here, I tell you. Girl, I like your... You know, anyone that wears a coat like a cape is honestly, like, in my books already. Like, let's be honest. That's happened a couple times already in this series. <laughs> this is Apollo Justice. He's a fellow lawyer at the office I work for. Okay, yeah, so Apollo's fine. He didn't do the bad thing, right? No, of course not. I'm, I don't believe it. He doesn't do the bad thing. Apollo is the lead for the defense on this case. But I'm going to be there at the bench with him, doing what I can to help out. Okay, so in the tutorial thing, we're gonna just be there as like a... It's normal to go through this as a tutorial thing. I'll do whatever it takes to defend Junie. Who's Junie? Speaking of steel, how are you holding up? That explosion really did a number on you. Oh, he's got the bandages because of the explosion? Ew, so maybe we saw him in the thing and it was after the explosion. I refuse to believe that he had anything to do with it. Refusing. I'm just happy you're okay, Athena. Although, I can't pretend I have no connection to this case. Uh, let me know, too, if, if I'm at a point already where I can fix the speed. And it might be after the tutorial. Sometimes it is. Let me know when I can do that, too. The text speed. Because you guys know I like it quick. That's why I'm going to see to it that Juniper's name is cleared. And I'm sure you feel much the same way. Juniper, uh, please tell me I didn't forget anybody. Who's that? You got that right. I won't rest until Junie is completely cleared of all suspicion. Okay. Apollo? Athena. Who's that? Hello? Oh my gosh, who are you? She looks like a, a Studio Ghibli like person, doesn't she? Oh my god, she's adorable. Girl, I like your little hairballs. <laughs> Thank you for doing this for me. Well, there she is. Okay, that's her. I, no, I don't recognize her. I don't think we, we know who she is. Oh girl, are you alright? Are you sick? Allergies, perhaps. I do like your pine cone. 
Oh my god, she's adorable. Don't cough, you're all right. Oh my, look how these are animated. This is incredible. Hey, are you okay? She's like hyperventilating, but instead of a bag, she's using like the sunflower. <laughs> Sorry about that. I always seem to go into coughing fits whenever I get nervous. Well, this kind of thing never happens <laughs> at home in the forest though. Girl, I'm, I'm with you. I am also a child of the forest. She's so cute. This is Juniper Woods. She's my dear, dear childhood friend. And she's also our client for this case. The news keeps repeating that Junie is the alleged bomber. How the hell did they come up with that? Look at her. Do we honestly think? God, but this game is like that, right? It's always, it's like the, listen, someone could have like blown up two city blocks and it would be like, this baby was the one that did it. It's so dumb. But that's ridiculous. There's no way that Junie would do anything like that. It was a baby. Oh, an orange, thanks. I brought you a little snack, Tina. Oh, just a little something from my garden. It's lovely. Hey, thanks. So, um, is this an orange or a tangerine? It's an orange. My grandma says that orange is the color of strength and endurance. Oh, I, I get it. Strength for the trial, right? Oh, Junie, you're always so good to me. Jeez, look at me, standing here clutching an orange in my chest with tears in my eyes. Oh, I like Athena. If she's gonna be like over emotional, I totally, I totally dig it. Well, don't you worry. We'll be so powerful in there, like, they won't even know what hit him. Right, Apollo? Yeah, that's right. Oh my god, he, god, I cannot, I cannot get over how handsome he got. Come what may, this is one trial we just can't lose. Well, don't start sweating now. J you're gonna sweat through. Whoa, 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 you're all right. Oh, shit. <gasps> Apollo! Apollo! Ugh. He's sick, he's not well. Blood is seeping through his bandages. One of his wounds must have reopened. All this time he was trying to put on a brave face, but he was really overdoing it. Oh no, what do we do? Mr. Justice? Who's that? Huh? The trial is about to start, sir. Please proceed to the courtroom. What? Now? Uh, but Apollo's in no state to defend. <sighs> uh, I, I, I have to defend Juniper. What are we gonna do? The trial's about to start with or without us. Uh, there's only one other option I can think of at a time like this. We're gonna take over, right? It's gonna be our tutorial. But even if I called him now, he'd never get here in time. Oh, Phoenix, of course. That would be another thing. Oh, no, 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 wait. There's something else I can do. Apollo, give me all the evidence for the case. Huh? What are you gonna do? Bailiff? Y yes, miss. Defense would like to submit a substitution of attorney petition. Athena! You're not seriously. You just concentrate on getting better. I'll defend Juni. Uh, all by yourself? Uh, Athena, stop for a second and think about what you're saying. You've never once taken a case on alone before, right? No, hey, problema. I can handle it, I think. Does she speak Spanish? What? That's pretty cool. But I guess it's really up to you, Junie. Would you be okay with me taking over? Um, uh, sure. I, I believe in you, Thena, and that's enough for me. Aw. Oh my, my god, I love these sprites. Yeah, guys, don't say anything about this, what I'm about to say, but if I see Edgeworth in one of these sprites, I'm gonna lose my mind. You're worried for me, aren't you? Uh, to be honest, I I'm pretty nervous too. I think my heart might just burst out of my chest. Oh, that's a good thing to say before we start this. But you're in no shape to stand at the bench now. So you'll just have to leave it to me. You got it? Are we doing this? I guess we're doing this. All right. All right. I can see your mind's made up anyway. I hate it that I can't be there. But I know you'll give it your utmost to defend Juniper. You bet I will. Rest assured of that. We can do it. Surely we can do it. I just have to figure out the buttons. I'm sure they're all mostly the same, right? My name is Athena Sykes. 
I'm still just a newbie, but I'm a lawyer. This is only the second time I've taken the lead in a defense case. It'll be the first time I stand up there alone, though. But I have to do this. And I'm definitely not about to let anything bad happen to Juniper. You know, said Juni. Might be. You, you know. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna... You know what? It's gonna be funny because I'm gonna have to get, like, my voice back into action. It has been a while since we've done a full visual novel with all voices, so my voice might be a little uh, caca at first because, uh, honestly, it's been a long time since I've had to do strict voice acting down the line. But we'll, we'll get back into it, though. I'm not worried about it. Okay, here we go. Um, courtroom number five. Surely this isn't the one that blew up. I, I know they have more than one. So yeah, we're fine. Oh my god, court is now in session. All rise for the great bald judge. I cannot wait to see him. There he is. Judge! Girl, how is your beard? How are you doing? Oh my god, I feel like it's been five million years since I saw you. How's your head? Court is now in session for the trial of Juniper Woods. Oh my god, we look so cool. Okay, yes, I'm very into this right now. Not just because I'm a fellow redhead, but just because I love everything about this. Uh, the defense is ready, Your Honor. Oh, what? Uh, you're back? Hey, you got your hair fixed up a little bit, though. It looks a little different. I mean, uh, honestly. The prosecution is also ready, Your Honor. I can't believe, <laughs> can't believe Payne is back. I mean, has this guy ever quit? He's never not around. It's amazing that he still has a job, to be honest. All right, Peridot's back. And you know, honestly, your hair's evolved. I, I kind of like it this way. It's got a little bit of a greaser rocker look to it. <coughs> what is the meaning of this? I was under the impression that Mr. Red Monkey would be my opponent today. Listen, Red Hiney Monkey is not here, all right? I know that you wanted to see him because he is attractive. And I know you're into the guys, but you're gonna have to deal with me. Yes, well, a substitution of attorney petition was submitted just a few moments ago. Guys, I cannot wait to get back into all these voices. <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to try to keep it continuous. Due to the explosion in the courthouse yesterday, Mr. Justice is unable to continue. I see, I see. Not at all surprised he used that as an excuse to run away. Bitch, you do this every time, man. Change the record. With me as an adversary, who would want to feign? Who wouldn't want to feign illness in order to escape? Are you serious? A little baby could take you down, dude. What? The nerve of that guy! I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind. Well, well, I would if I wasn't so nervous. Oh, this arrogant jerk! You arrogant jerk! What the hell is that thing? Oh, is that her Tamagotchi? Oh, I'm gonna have to come up with something for him quick. What is he supposed to sound like? Does he ever have a voice? I don't know. Oh my god. No! Widget! Is my hearing getting worse? I could have sworn I heard the defense say something just now. No. You didn't hear anything at all. Especially not from me. Hmm. How odd. I could have sworn I also heard something. Uh, nothing here. Oh, that would be my indispensable partner, Widget. It's a literal Tamagotchi. He sometimes blurts out what I'm thinking. Oh, that seems inconvenient. <laughs> God, thank God none of us have to wear that. I'd be in trouble all day. Can you imagine? Yeah, no, I, <laughs> that would be the worst thing ever for me, actually. <laughs> well then, if that's the case, then it's a clear contradiction to what you just stated. Contradiction? Yeah, it means you lied. Well, you know, or something's not, something's not right. You stated that you said nothing, you clod. However, if that device of yours says what you're thinking, then you indeed said I was, uh, what was it? Elegance at work? Uh, actually, it was an arrogant jerk. Oh my god, this face. We can all relate. That is a face that I have made many times. Wait, am I Athena? I mean, I'm not as young, but we can roll with it, right? At any rate, what does it matter if it's a red monkey or a yellow monkey facing me? Are you seriously sitting here calling me a monkey? That's a bit racist. I don't like it one bit. No fresh out of law school rookie can defend this witness. Mr. Payne, I believe that that's enough. Let's get back to the case. Thank you, Judge. You're the best. Of course, Your Honor. I'm more than ready to show this little girl what they call... Why they call me the rookie humiliator. Ew! 
All right, I need an adult. That sounds nasty. Can you stop? Aren't you like 80 years old? I mean, you've been in every single damn game. I knew it. He really is an arrogant jerk. Arrogant jerk? I don't know what voice, what voice should I give that thing? Uh, probably like a robotic one, I'm assuming. Like, you know, I, what, I, my first thought was to give him a Monokuma voice, but I don't think that's gonna work out, guys. Ms. Sykes, if you continue to insult the prosecution, I will remove you from this court. He just called me a monkey though, bitch. Weren't you listening? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to call you a bitch. I would never do that to the judge. Oh, I'm very sorry. It was a knee-jerk reaction. Yeah, I was sweating too. Now then, Mr. Payne, your opening statement, if you please. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, I wonder how the saving works in this game as well. We're gonna have, the first few episodes are always like this too. It's, they're gonna be weird as far as timing because I don't know how long anything is in this. So we're just give me some time to work it out. Some might be 30 minutes, some might be an hour. We don't, we don't know, it just, it just depends. The incident occurred yesterday here at this very courthouse in courtroom number four. All right. At that time, the trial for a certain bombing was being held in courtroom number four. Ooh, l listen to this music. This isn't bad. Ah, uh, yes, I was presiding over that trial as well. And Mr. Justice was there as the lawyer for the defense. All right. The bomb that was being presented as evidence suddenly went off during the trial. How convenient. It was a terrible incident, and courtroom number four was completely destroyed. Fortunately, we were able to start evacuation procedures before the explosion occurred. Just a few seconds more, and it would have been turned into a horrific loss of human life. Okay. Oh, whoa, I don't know what that was. That was like a little bit of poop. But there was, in fact, one death, was there not? That is correct, Your Honor. When courtroom number four was examined after the blast... Someone died? Oh no! The body of Detective Candace Arm was discovered. Oh no! God, she reminds me of what's her name? You know who? From uh, from the Edgeworth uh, case. Oh shit! Why can't I remember her name now? You know who she is. The girl I really liked. <laughs> uh, she was to take the stand as a witness later in the trial. She's dead. That's really too bad. I suppose she wasn't able to evacuate in time. What a terrible tragedy. I must admit, I stumbled at least ten times myself before I was able to escape. Oh, mood. That sounds like me. Oh, maybe the court should see to getting you, like, even shorter robes. The victim's body was found near the entrance to the courtroom. Uh, I suspect she stayed until the very end to help guide the others out of safely. Your Honor, allow me to submit as evidence the victim's autopsy report. And details about the bomb. Arms autopsy report added to the court record, okay. Cause of death, trauma to the back of head caused by impact with a flat object. Time of death between 8 and 11. Can I click on details to see this? Well, what's this? Stuffed animal bomb? That was the bomb? The time bomb that destroyed the courtroom. It was hidden inside a stuffed animal when it was detonated. I see. It's a little elephant. Oh, I couldn't look at the details because this is the tutorial of just giving me them all at once, I think. Okay, I, I know how this works. All evidence for the trial is filed in the court record. There it is. When I want to check something out, I just have to touch the court record button. We are using John's 3DS today, uh, so the touch screen should work brilliantly. Mine is way, it's a little too far gone that I was worried about how it was going to perform. So thankfully, we should have all touch features go go. We should be good. I'd better take a peek later. Now then, please call the accused to the witness stand. Before we do that, I'm gonna take a look right now because like, I like to be organized. You guys know how I like it. All right, so the brand new shiny badge, you know I'm gonna show that to everybody. Cause of death, we saw this. Show me the details, please. Oh, it's just the photo. Okay, I didn't know if it would be anything else. So she's really sincerely, truly dead. Right, time of death between eight and 11. Back of the head impact with a flat object, which is the rocks. Time bomb that destroyed the courtroom. It was hidden inside a stuffed animal when it was detonated. While I'm here. Apollo Justice, another lawyer at the office. He's passionate about the law and hates anything that's not fair and just. Juniper Woods, our client in this case. We've been friends since childhood, a sweet girl who loves nature. He's 
only 55 years old? God, speaking of monkey, let's be honest. I mean, you were just projecting onto me. Okay. The prosecuting attorney, he just seems to exude unpleasantness. Candace Arm, the victim in the case, a detective who is heading up the investigation into the bombing incident. Apollo's only 23 in this? He's still just as fresh out of, I mean, he, I, what was he in Apollo Justice? 21, right? Was it 21? So this is only like a couple, we're talking a couple of years. All right, if, if I'm right about that, I don't know if I am. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's see how this works. Probably very similar. Oh, girl, you're all right. Defendant, are you feeling all right? You're looking a bit pale. I'm so sorry. I was feeling a bit weak when I first arrived here at the courthouse. <laughs> you're all right there. Take a, take a big sniff. But I, I, I'm all right. Oh, Junie's really giving it her all. I I'd better make sure I do the same. <laughs> if we could please proceed. Your name and occupation, defendant. Uh, Juniper Woods. I'm a, a high school student. Miss Woods, can you confirm you were in the courthouse on the day in question? Yes. I came to know Apollo Justice through my friend Tina. <laughs> and so... I was there yesterday to watch his trial and, and lend my support. Something's wrong. Junie's really scared. <laughs> Did you know I'm also known as the Defendant Humiliator? Oh, God, you know what? I don't want to hear about your gross kink so early into this, okay? Like, honestly. It looks like I have yet another chance to show everyone how I earned that moniker. Oh, does this arrogance know no bounds? I have to protect Junie no matter what. Hey, you arrogant little <coughs> prosecutor Payne. Yeah, do the point. Point right at him. Hmm, what is it? Do you want me to demonstrate why I'm known as the rookie humiliator and said, don't touch me, I'll <laughs> break your neck. Deep breaths, Athena. Don't let him get to you. Yeah, we gotta be cool and collected about this. But prosecutor Payne, Junie's telling the truth. Mr. Justice also backed up her claim when we saw him in the defendant lobby. And, Junie, he said that he was glad to get the lotus root you gave him, too. He was? My grandma says that lotus root is good for your eyes. She says that they can even help you see into the future. They can? Then that's the perfect present for a lawyer. And if that's true, I guess he must not have eaten them. Oh, poor Paul. A sweet meat girl like this, blowing up a courtroom to bits? That's what I said, Judge. We're on the same page. I must say it's very hard to believe. Objection! What, is that what he sounds like in this? Oh my god, at least he's not like, objection! I guess I can still use the Paradox voice for because usually he just screams. Now, now, Your Honor, don't let her seemingly innocent appearance fool you. The defendant had a motive for committing this crime. Like what? Let's hear this. But that's not true. I don't have any kind of motive. And I didn't even know the lady who was killed. I admit the investigation didn't turn up any connection between the victim and defendant. However, that doesn't matter. The only thing that does in her objective it was the destruction of the courtroom itself. Why would she want to do that? What the hell is your explanation for that shit? Rabble, 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 rabble. What the, I don't know. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Why in the world would Miss Woods want to do that? <laughs> That's a very good question coming from a novice such as yourself. But first, a question for the defendant. Have you ever been brought up on false charges? What? Well, why, yes. Yes, I have. What? And did that experience cause you to harbor a grudge against the court system? Objection! Yeah, oh, oh, is that what we sound like? Now wait just one minute. If that kind of thing was a motive for blowing things up, then every one of our clients would turn into bombers. It's a valid point. We wouldn't have a single courthouse left standing in the land. Hey, you guys do piss people off sometimes. <laughs> I mean, it just happens, right? I can see the accused isn't the only one who might bear resentment against the court. But Miss Woods is the only person who could have committed this crime. Shut up. Why? Because we have found some decisive evidence that proves the defendant's guilt. Decisive, huh? Well, I'll believe it when I see it. 
It involves a very unique aspect of the bomb itself, your honor. Like what? What exactly what was so unique about it? Uh... Why don't we have Miss Sykes answer that question? Huh? Uh, me? Mm -hmm. I notice that you appear to be very nervous and well, gentlemen, that I am. I'd like to offer you the chance to gain some confidence with such an easy question. Could he be any more condescending? Really? What a thoroughly unpleasant man. L is for loser. Ugh. What did it just say? Uh, nothing. Not a single thing. I want to give it a Monokuma voice. I don't know. Don't stop me. <laughs> just, I mean, honestly, if it's going to be a troll the whole time, it might as well. Now, let's see. What was I supposed to do at a time like this? Oh, I know. The court record. The information I need is somewhere in the court record. All right, Miss Sykes. Let's hear your answer. What was unique about the bomb that blew up the courtroom? Was it because it was in Apollo's briefcase in the judge's pocket inside a stuffed animal? Well, we don't know any of that other info, do we? It doesn't say anything about where it was. It just says it was hidden inside a stuffed animal. So that's got to be the answer we're looking for. Slam it. Mr. Payne, what kind of simpleton do you take me for? It was stuffed inside a stuffed animal. It's evil intentions covered up by a cute exterior. Oh, that's the connection they're trying to make. Well, it has happened in the past. I mean, look at Dahlia Hawthorne. Look at so many of the other girls that we've had to deal with. <laughs> Very good, have a cookie. Where did it come from? Probably out of your pants. No, thank you. The bomb that went off in the courtroom was indeed hidden inside a stuffed animal. There, how do you like that? Not bad, huh? Oh my god, I do like her. I am fine. Just like I said from the start, I can do this. Yes, as I recall, the bomb was stuffed inside a stuffed animal the whole time. God, I need to fix this text. How do I do it? Oh no! They probably won't even give me the option until later, I'm assuming. I never even got to take a look at it. But what connection does this impish elephant have with the defendant? The answer to that question lies in another piece of evidence. Which I have here. What's that? It looks like a tail. And what, pray tell, is this? It appears to be a little singed. It's a tail, Your Honor. It came off my ass. The tail of a poor victim of the explosion. This is incredible. Are you saying it's Detective Arm's tail? Uh, Your Honor is so very close, uh, but no. It belongs to this stuffed animal. It's called the Phony Fancy. A rather unpleasant name, if you ask me. He's the mascot for a campaign to eliminate false evidence and false charges, is he not? Oh, why would they have a mascot for that? <clears throat> I'm sorry. That's really weird. Exactly. His motto is, phony evidence is just trunked up. Oh, pfft. Did that, is that really working on anyone? What? That's so wrong on so many levels. Yeah, I don't like it. The phony fancy's tail is made of vinyl cloth. And we found something very interesting on its surface. The defendant's fingerprints. How did that happen? What? Oh, here we go. The music. Guys, this is it. The phony fancy provided the prosecution with all the evidence we needed. It clearly proves that the accused handled the bomb. I... Uh, uh. Oh my god. <laughs> her hairballs. They smacked her in her face. Rabble, 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 rabble. Oh shit, well you didn't tell me that, did you? What do we do now? But that doesn't make any sense. Why would Junie's fingerprints even be on it? Hmm. That does appear to be pretty irrefutable evidence. But shut up, no it doesn't. The court accepts it into evidence. Phony fancy tail added to the court record. Piece of the stuffed animal that the bomb was inserted into. The defendant's fingerprints were found on it. Okay. Miss Woods, do you have an explanation for this? Uh, I, I, I don't understand. I, <laughs> How about you, Miss Sykes? Do you have any plausible explanation to refute this decisive piece of evidence? Uh. Well, I, uh. I can't do it. I can't think of a single thing. Uh, but I'd better come up with something, for Junie's sake. If you can't produce an answer, we could always go straight to the ruling, if you prefer. Well, fingerprints on it doesn't mean shit. 
You've been around long enough, sir. Oh, no, I have to say something fast. What do we do? <gasps> oh no, I can't get my voice to work. Oh, why now of all times? What are we gonna, oh no. Whoa, 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 what's this? What's that, what was that? That was like a flashback. It looked like she was young. I thought I overcame this already. Maybe I'm not ready to stand in court. Whoa, 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 what was that? What happened? <gasps> Animation. I love it. Girl, you're alright. Uh-oh. <gasps> what the hell? What's this thing of shit? What's this? Whoa, 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 Oh, oh. Oh no, she was a witness or something. Or, or possibly a suspect. Ew, this is creepy. As you can see, there is no room for debate. Is that what he sounds like? Come on. Objection! <gasps> who dat? Why, it's you. Who's that? Ooh, oh, my boy! <laughs> yeah! Here he is! Oh my god, Phoenix! My boy, I'm so glad to see you! Sorry it took me so long to get here, Athena. Apollo explained the whole thing to me over the phone. He asked me to come help you out. In his place. Thanks for coming. I hate to admit it, but I was having a real rough time on my own. Oh, I don't know. I think you were doing just fine, all things considered. And you hung in there, giving me enough time to get here. Now let's turn things around. Holy shit, yeah, dude! This is awesome! You got it, boss. Hell yeah! Oh, <laughs> look who showed up out of the blue. I get it, because he's blue. If it isn't Mr. Phoenix right, you always manage to surprise me. Phoenix is full of surprises. Slam that desk, boy. I am so glad you're back. Your Honor, Mr. Payne has called for an early ruling. But I believe there are still many things that need to be deliberated. Oh, hell yeah. Let's freaking go. How did Miss Wood's fingerprints wind up on the stuffed animal tail? How was the bomb even detonated? Until these questions are answered, I assert it's impossible for a fair ruling to be made. Hmm. You are absolutely right. Let's continue from where we left off. I assume you have no objections, Mr. Payne. <laughs> None at all, your honor. <laughs> You're right over there, girl. Miss Woods really looks like she's having a hard time. She does. Ginny's really struggling, Mr. Wright. I get the sense she's afraid of the courtroom itself. Because of yesterday? Yeah, it was understandably very traumatic for her. Oh, poor thing. Here she is back at the courthouse again, being so brave. I'd like to make a request, Your Honor. If at all possible, I'd like to have Miss Woods rest in the lobby. Hmm. Given the defendant's condition... Very well. I grant special permission. Ah, Judge, you're a good guy, you are. Um, am I gonna have, like, a break here? Like, I don't... I, here's the thing, I don't know when this is gonna go till... This is also a brand new capture device with a brand new piece of software, and I, oh, I don't want to run it too long for the first time. I want to make sure everything's extra good, even though I did test everything. You get get some rest, Junie, and leave the rest to us. We're, like I said, I think we're going to be stopping at weird places for the first few times to, to figure out what we're doing here until I get the feel of it. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry about this. All right, you go rest, babe. Go ahead. Maybe we can talk it out and we won't need her just yet. Phoenix Wright, why are you so handsome? I've been looking forward to meeting you. What do you mean? I have met you on multiple occasions. Have I not? It's been a while, Mr. Paint. Yeah, what the fuck did you forget? I'm insulted. <laughs> You're more clueless than I'd heard. I do believe you mean, how do you do? Listen, I don't have to give you any formalities, man. I really don't. For I am Gaspin Payne. I am the younger brother of your long-standing... Oh. 
It did say that in the profile, and you know what? I didn't even pick up on it. I don't know. I thought maybe he fucking changed his name. I didn't even make the connection. It did say that, didn't it? In the profile. I forgot that his name was Winston. I guess that's why your hair looks so good. Oh, my pants. Oh, there goes. They're just falling right off, y'all. Longstanding rival? When were we ever rivals, let alone longstanding? Well, to be fair, I did say that we've seen him lots of times. Oh, shit. You'll see, Mr. Wright. I will cleanse Winston of the disgrace he met at your hand. Listen, his disgrace is all his own doing. That had nothing to do with it. He sucks. And you suck, too. Oh, looks like this royal pain is going to be as thoroughly unpleasant as the other. It must run in the family. It must be the DNA or something. <laughs> your Honor, the prosecution would now like to call a decisive witness to the stand. All right, I think... Oh, God. The witness will testify as to how the accused detonated the bomb in the courtroom. Slam it. Very well. Please call your witness, Mr. Payne. We're going to have to do that in the next one. And I don't even know how to save this yet. I'll figure it out. Oh, my God. Because I don't know how long this is going to go. I will figure it out the first few episodes. But bear with me. This is how they all go. And if you haven't seen the ones beforehand, uh, you might want to go crutch up now before I start getting into this. Because I am throwing myself full force into this. It will be running on the same schedule Tuesday, Thursday. And Saturday. I hope you guys are so excited for this. Please leave a like on this opening video to let me know if you're excited for it because I am too. Oh my gosh. And yeah, let me know your spoiler free tips and tricks. We're going to go through this together. Let me know how to speed up the text. And uh, hopefully this is one where I can save all the time. Let me know about that as well. Otherwise, we're going to have to do the very best we can. Thank you so, so much, you guys, for watching this first episode. I hope you're going to enjoy it as much as I am. And I'll see you soon. Toodaloo.